I say the word chocolate, what words come to mind? Delicious, I hear a few answers. For many of us, we think of words like delicious, luxurious, and tasty. Unfortunately, on the other side of the world, for those responsible for reducing the cocoa that we use to make chocolate, they would likely have very different answers, like hardship, pain, and difficulty. Tonight, I'm going to talk about this issue. But first, I'd like to tell you something shocking. If any of you have purchased a bag of M&Ms or a Hershey's bar, it's likely that you have paid a small amount of money to, to fund child slavery in the Ivory Coast. I'm going to talk about the causes of this issue and what you and I can do to solve it. For life for a cocoa farmer is extremely difficult and painful. Uh, they require, it requires a lot of hard work and long hours put in. Um, unfortunately, they don't receive enough compensation to make ends meet. The Global Exchange, an organization dedicated to, interna to international labor rights, reported that the average family involved in cocoa farming in the Ivory Coast makes between $30 to $110 per household member per year. So if you do your math, for a family of five, we're looking at $150 for an entire year. In contrast, the, the chocolate industry is, is booming right now. Uh, Nestle, one of the largest producers of chocolate confectionery products worldwide, was reported by Newsweek to have brought in over $9 billion in profits. So these cocoa farmers aren't receiving their piece, and because of that, they're having to resort, resort to cutting costs. Unfortunately, some of these cocoa farmers do think, resort to doing things that are unethical. Some of these cocoa farmers will travel across the border to neighboring countries of Mali and Burkina Faso, and there they will offer desu children a great job, promising wonderful benefits and offering them an opportunity to send money home to their family. What these families don't know when they allow their children to cross the border, the border into the Ivory Coast and work on these plantations is that their child will likely work under the harshest conditions, maybe getting beaten, beaten or tortured, and there's a good chance that he may never see his family again. Unfortunately, this isn't an isolated incident. The U.S. State Department reported that in 2000, there was an estimated 15,000 child slaves working on cocoa plantations in the Ivory Coast just from the country of Mali alone. That's excluding slaves from other countries. So this is a, a huge problem, but unfortunately there's not enough being done about it. We've seen the last few years that these chocolate companies, whenever publicity came out about this, this epidemic, these, these companies promised that they would make changes. They promised that by the year 2005, that they would have all slavery eliminated from the production of, of their products. Um, the International Labor Rights Forum found that in 2005, many of the major companies, including Hershey's, Mars, as well as, um, or those are two of the companies that, that failed to, to meet the requirements. Nestle is the other one. They failed to meet the requirements by 2005. They pushed the deadline back for them for three years, and yet they still failed to meet the requirements. So it's, it's obvious that they're not going to make the difference. They're not going to solve this problem themselves. This is where you and I come in. As the consumers, it's up to us to make sure that this, this problem is eradicated. There are certain things that we can do. The first thing I'd encourage you to do is support slave-free chocolate. The following are our logo that you can look for. Oh, that's not working. A cocoa goes into big chocolate. A cocoa goes into big chocolate. Uh, Have you ever tasted chocolate? <laughs> These are three logos of fair trade company or of, of logos that they place on their chocolate bars for fair trade chocolate. You can look at these on the on the, the bars on the front label or on the back label. You can find one of these logos. And what this says is that this company has ensured through a third-party organization that the employees have been adequately compensated. In addition, that there is no slave labor involved in the making of their chocolate. So, it, it, actually, you can look in, at this middle logo right here. This is. This is on one of the bars, one of the lines of chocolate bars found in the Middle <coughs> bookstore. I would encourage you to go there and purchase this product. Um, it's very good. I've had it myself. It tastes good. And, and it's good knowing that you're not supporting child slavery at the same time. Another thing you can do is contact these companies and let them know that you don't approve of their procedures and their policies as it regards to child slavery. Um, I personally have contacted, if you visit their webpage, just go to www.mars.com, nestle.com, 
or Hershey's.com, and there you can click the Contact Us link and let them know that you don't approve of their policies as it comes to child slavery. Let them know that you would pay additional money for a product that was certified to be slave free. If they, if they understand there's going to be enough demand for this product, they will provide. Another thing I would encourage you to do, well actually I'd like to show a video in, in conclusion, and I'd like to introduce you to a young man who's actually worked on these cocoa plantations and has just been rescued. Unfortunately, this is only this is the, one of the lucky ones. He's been rescued. There are yet thousands of other children just like him who are still working under these harsh conditions and receiving no pay. If you and I work together, we can make sure that this is not happening anymore. And if we do so, we'll be offering these children something that we wouldn't trade for all the chocolate in the world. A, chan a chance at a healthy childhood and a happy life. Thank you.